Matarazzo certainly opening the door there. What do you think? Would he be a good option for the U.S. men's national team? He's blushing when you asked him. Or you didn't ask him when he yeah. was asked. Um, good option? Sure, maybe. Realistic option? No, he, he's not in the eyes of many. I don't think right now a realistic option. Um, he talks about giving back. You don't go to the national team to give back. If he wants to give back, you'd be a coaching director somewhere. You'd be doing it at a grassroots level. Um, I think he's where he's supposed to be at the moment. I think he's so, so much of a unknown commodity to many, and I would ignorantly say almost within U.S. soccer. Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. know, yep. the average fan doesn't know who he is. I'm sure the average pundit has never seen his teams play. But you can't deny how he gets so much from so little. If you think the U.S. men's national team has so little, maybe that's the route to go. But if you think you have a pool with a huge upside, a massive ceiling, and then you need to make strides with, I don't know if Mata, or um, Pellegrino excuse me, would be the guy who convinces people right now. So what do you want from a national team manager? We talked about this after the World Cup when we were talking about who might take over the U.S. job, the Mexico job. And I think because so much of a national team's work comes down to tournaments, you need somebody who can get results. Well, where would the manager face more pressure in terms of getting results than a promotion campaign? We know it took Stuttgart up from Bundesliga 2 and trying to stave off relegation, which he did with Stuttgart last season. So we know when you absolutely need to get results, this guy can do it. We know he's versatile, Herc, right? He's done it at Stuttgart, and now he's doing it at Hoffenheim. I think they're 13th right now in a much better position than when he arrived. So I think his resume, at first it was a little bit Stuttgart heavy. Now he's proving that he can do it in multiple places. And on top of that, Herc, he's getting a tune out of John Brooks, who everybody on U.S. Men's National Team Twitter wants to see back into this pool. I think you could do a, a lot worse than Pellegrino Matarazzo. I think you should at least consider him, if not for 2026, Her, what he says in that interview, 2030, beyond that, when you think of American coaches who are, who are working and having success in Europe, it's a very, very small, L let me, small Let me list. ask you something, because I know you're a big Pellegrino fan. You mm -hmm. interviewed him, and he was nice to you, and yep. you're all about him now. Been on this show a few times. Been on the show a few times. Oh, I'm sorry. You want to mention American managers that have done more in Europe? Oh, uh, uh, yeah, I'm ahead. about to. I'm about okay. to. Yes, yes. Right. Would you put his resume over Jesse Marsh's? Yeah. In terms of what he's accomplished, yeah. Okay. I mean... Where's Jesse Marsh's big European success? What, what, Austria. Where's, where's where Pellegrino's big European huge, success, Seb? I can turn a, the same questions around. The only thing I think is, it's a success to get Stuttgart out of the second division. That's a major success in Europe. You don't think it was a success to keep Leeds in promotion last season? You don't think it was a success to do what he did? Did they get better when Jesse Marsh the, got there? You don't think it was a success to do what did they he move did up with the Salzburg table? at Champions League? against teams like Liverpool, that Liverpool? Seb, I could turn this around many different sure, ways. Sure, it's semantics. It's semantics, I think. Who's got the better resume right now? I go Matarazzo, baby. I go Matarazzo. <laughs> when was the last time Jesse Marsh was on Football Americas, huh? Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.